Hello friends, welcome back to another Cookie Run video. Today I am back on to Cookie Run Oven Break. So I know it's been a while since I've uploaded an Oven Break video, but as you guys just know, the new, let me figure out the name real quick. The new Hidden Truth of the City update just released. Um, well, not just, but a couple days ago, uh, I only just got on to update and kind of check it out. And I wanted to do a overview of what this is. So let's go over the changes. So we have some new things. So the guild runs uh, postseason. This is probably the first time. I don't know if I'm qualified. I got to double check the guild if it I don't think it is. Anyways, yeah. So if your guild is a uh, Qualified. I don't think this applies to many people and only the top 12 guilds of a guild run season will qualify for a postseason So if your guild qualified, then you probably already know what it is. So it's just more guild run um, Histories and lobbies. So this is kind of cool. You have something called history and lobby So the history tab will show you uh, what you got in your previous guild run so for example if you were place first or third or whatever in your uh, certain arena, then you'll kind of see that. And the lobby will show a guild's lobby design. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Balance changes and bug fixes. So here's the meat of the update. So finally, Wind Archer has been buffed. So another legendary cookie. So basically, ignore if you ignore the rest of the text, just know that Wind Archer will be Probably, I'm going to assume. Again, I haven't played yet, but Wind Archer, the legendary cookie that's been buffed, is going to be the new meta. So uh, be on the lookout for that. If you have a maxed out Wind Archer, that's probably going to be what you're using for all the other stuff. Um, yeah, so they made it a fixed interval thing instead of a random thing. Uh, Dark Spirits appear, to appear in a fixed order, and they match their running speed. So... To be honest, I haven't played Wind Archer in so long that I kind of forgot. Um, I didn't know this wasn't matched in the running speed, but we'll see. I'll probably make a video on uh, Wind Archer. Uh, Red Bean Cookie buff, they said that in the preview. Macron, there was an issue. Uh, muscle Cookie issue. Ananas, um, probably not a big change. Ananas, uh, probably, again, Wind Archer will still probably be meta. Uh, mostly a lot of issues actually. So I don't know if this will help uh, the lag for uh, emulator players, but we'll see. Um, cool down. A lot of different fixes. That's not what I imagined actually. So um, I thought there would just be slight buffs to the cookies that they mentioned, but I guess it's pretty big, huh? Ticking uh, treasure chest. Cover a part of the hole near the spawn point. Okay, yeah, that was a bit annoying when it dropped a uh, like blast jelly or whatever. And if you and if you jump into it and you fall, then you kind of loses its effectiveness, basically. Um, rainbow headphones, blah blah blah. A lot of issues being fixed, so uh, you can kind of go over that. I'm not gonna go over it because I think um, until we play it, we won't know which one actually affects the meta. Uh, we have some new cute jelly rock shapes. I'm not a big fan, but if you are, uh, there you go, the rocks. Uh, the new cookie, the cookie moles. So I already opened a few chests to use up some of my gems. Uh, this is the new cookie mole. So these are kind of cool in that it's a three-in-one. So uh, unlike the cake pops, so pop and candy, where... Uh, it's one out of the five, now you have all three. And also unlike Chess Choco, uh, you can't, you don't really uh, get to decide when to use the ability. Instead it just kind of, once it charges up to full, they automatically uses it and then boom, you're on to the next one. So it kind of just rotates through all three and then it just keeps going back and forth. So um, there's some storyline there. I didn't really get into it. <clears throat> and it's related to the hidden city. So uh, look, make sure to read out for the story for that. The magic candy just buffs uh, some of the skills for the cookie moles. Um, I think <clears throat> when I didn't have the candy and only maxed out the uh, 
Pokey Moles and the Pet at level 11. They're getting around Ruby 3. Pretty sure Ruby 3. So uh, with the level 3 candy, I'm getting around Ruby 1. I'm pretty sure if I switch it out for the Red or uh, red Egg, I can get to Diamond. But um, just playing around with it. <laughs> I love how the Pet is bigger than the Cookie Moles almost. They're like about the same size as the head. Um, creates... <laughs> this is the shortest description I've seen actually. So for recently released cookies usually there's like a giant wall of text but this one is just creates three pure cream jellies love what for more points and boom that's it very straightforward haven't had this in a while so <laughs> we'll see how this goes um but yeah so cookie moles are the new uh cookies that were released uh wind archer slight buff uh we'll have more buffs later on so the second part of the update probably coming up in another two weeks or a week probably a week yeah so the story run the new map here the hidden truth of the city so they said in the preview like they said in the preview it what how it works is that if you hit anything it automatically ends so what you want to do is not hit anything and kind of just practice the runs again your tickets will kind of fill back up over time so don't worry about it um I'll probably try to play through it. I don't know if I'll record it though, to be honest. I don't know if anyone's interested in that or there's other videos about it already. So but yeah, so that's basically all that's new for this week of the update. Next week, we'll probably have something new. Uh, another big one is the new legendary costume. So the Zephyr of Life. I don't like it because it changes. I don't know, just something about the green. Not a big fan. I really like this one not that big of a fan of this one like maybe i'll get it but that means having to get a bunch of rainbow cubes which again not a big fan anymore uh spending most of my time on cookie run kingdoms so yeah probably have more coming content coming up on kingdoms instead of oven break but i'm still playing just don't really feel like discussing or recording stuff on it but yeah if you do want to though um let me know in the comments and yeah I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.